A shocking development tonight in a case that we have been following closely on the program for years now. Former Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Campion sentenced to lengthy prison terms for shooting and wounding an illegal alien drug smuggler. Well, the smuggler, now a convicted felon, was given immunity by the federal government to testify against the two agents. And today, a federal appeals court has finally weighed in on the case. And Casey Wine has our story. Casey? Kitty, former Border Patrol agents Ramos and Compeon, their families and supporters have been waiting for more than seven months for the Court of Appeals to rule on their case. Today, the judges did, unanimously upholding the convictions that led to the agents being sentenced to more than 10 years in prison. The 45-page decision is shocking to the agents' supporters because in December, during the hearing before the appeals court, two of the three appellate judges raised serious questions about the government's prosecution of the agents. We spoke this evening with Ignacio. Ignacio Ramos' wife, Monica, she was in tears. She talked to her husband by phone from prison, and she says he is in a great deal of shock and extremely concerned for their three young sons. Supporters were optimistic that judges would overturn the charge of using a firearm to commit a crime, which carries a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence. Texas Congressman Ted Poe, also a judge himself, a former judge himself, released a statement saying it was never the intent of Congress to have the 924C charge applied to law enforcement officers. Carrying a firearm is a requirement of the job. Congressman Duncan Hunter says agents Ramos and Compeon were convicted based on the testimony of a known drug dealer that has since been convicted for running drugs across the border. The fact that the drug dealer's criminal activity persisted even as he took the stand against the agents is reason enough to vacate these two convictions. Congressman Brian Bilbray and Dana Rohrabacher both called on President Bush to immediately pardon the agents, which he has so far refused to do. Attorneys for both agents say they plan to begin legal proceedings for the court to reconsider its decision. And if that fails, they'll likely take the case to the Supreme Court. They are, however, encouraged the court did overturn the agents' convictions for obstruction of justice, which could provide a legal avenue for the agents to challenge the entire decision. And Kitty, just second. Seconds ago, we got a statement from U.S. Attorney uh, in Texas, Johnny Sutton. We didn't get a chance to read that entire statement, but he says predictably that he is pleased by the court's ruling. This validates his office's decision to prosecute these two agents. Kitty? Yes, as he has done aggressively. The obstruction of justice issue, Casey, now does that give them um, a, an opening to overturn this? How, how do they proceed from here? What's, what's it, next? It, it, there's some complicated legal maneuvering ahead, and the way I understand it is that the attorneys have now 14 days to reappeal this case, if you will, to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. They can appeal it to these same three judges who made this ruling. They can also do an en banc appeal, which is to the in all of the judges in the Fifth Circuit. If that fails, they can then reopen this case or attempt to reopen this case with the district court that uh, convicted the agents because some of the charges were over uh, overturned those those uh, charges that didn't carry as much jail time if though if that avenue fails then they will likely take this all the way to the Supreme Court they say they're not done fighting Monica Ramos Nacho's family says to all of the supporters of the agents out there to not give up hope because they're going to continue to fight this case there Katie? are avenues open thanks very much Casey wine thanks Casey